Hey everybody, welcome to Custody Matters Live. My name is Danica Joan with my co-host Bud Vino. And this is, this is um, well, it's actually the second show that we've had in 2020, but it's actually our first guest of 2020 is here with us. And um, Bud, would you like to introduce her? Yes, I would, Danica. Second show, as you said, January 8, 2000, and I almost said 19, 2020, 7.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, and I couldn't be more proud to announce, Danica, that we have somebody that we had on during our Christmas special, the one, the only, Miss Vicki Townsend. It's going to be an amazing show, Danica, and I know people are going to get something out of this, and we've been bantering off the air, and we could for hours more, but we decided to record a show in the middle of it, so here we are. Thank you, Vicki, for joining us. Thank you. And I'm so glad when I, before I let you, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I, when I was talking to Bud, I want you to know that we were like, who, um, who can we get on the show? Like, I mean, and we were like, of course it's Vicki, because on that holiday special, you brought something uh, to our conversation that I have been like on the hunt for, because I think all of us advocates, we're wanting to speak to, um, we're wanting to help the parents who are dealing with custody matters. But the, the key is those gatekeepers are those professionals. And right. you're, the, you're like the head gatekeeper. Welcome. Yeah, to I, I, thank you. I will say quickly too, Vicki, I can confirm that Danica was like a kid in a candy store with this connection. She was so excited. <laughs> Uh, and rightfully so. Thanks for joining us, Vicki. Oh, thank you guys for, for having me. And it was the 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 Christmas show. If, if your if your listeners and viewers did not get a chance to listen to it, I was blown away by what happened on that show. It was really impactful for me. And I'm familiar with this. I can't imagine that if it was somebody that is currently going through custody matters, um, especially, you know, d during the past holiday season, that it was, it was amazing. So thank you for, uh, and I'm honored to have been a part of it. So thank you. Well, well you know, your, so your organization that you founded is National Association of Divorce Professionals. Right. And what's always, we've had people on our show that I've really, I've targeted, like we had an administrator in, a, in the school system. And the reason I brought that on is because those are some of the people that parents walk in to an office and they're having to deal with. And, it, and a lot of times things don't go great with them. But, they, but a lot of it is they don't get what it's like to be on the other side of that counter. Right, uh, and, right, and and that's one of the things that um, we try to bring to the table for everybody. You know, everybody is good in the lane that they're driving in for their clients, whether that's with their legal matters or their financial, you know, their money or their mental health issues. Um, they can stay in that lane, and they're good in that lane, but what they don't understand is how the decisions that they make about what they are doing and where they work, how those impact families in areas that don't, they don't seem to be putting the pieces together in those decisions. It sounds like a great idea at the time, but we've seen it time after time after time that the family was set up for either emotional or financial or both devastation in their families. And so our goal and our mission is to really educate all of these great professionals that the ones that really care about making this process better for their families, those are the divorce professionals that we want to work with. And we want to have them as a part of our organization because you know, the divorce process doesn't have a bad reputation for no reason. Um, there are some people that have taken advantage or, or without knowing it, they were doing more damage to these families by not understanding the whole process that a family goes through. So that is our goal. That is our mission is to, you know, bring these professionals together and educate them so that, that the impact on families can be lessened with a kinder and gentler landing for them so that they can start a new life 
without all of the, the mistakes and bad decisions and misunderstandings and not understanding, you know, all of that. So we wanted to take that away. So that's, that's our mission and that's our goal. And, and I know that you guys are aligned with that and you guys are here doing exactly what we want to do, which is making a, a positive impact out of a really kind of crappy process that doesn't set up anybody for, it's never great, right? It, the divorce process isn't going to be great, but it can be done better. You and know, I, I am so, so happy to be getting to know you because I get calls from people and they say, hey, do you know of an attorney? Do you know of a counselor who's familiar with parental alienation or, or, you know, or, or somebody that you could put your, you know, your reputation on? And to be honest, there are very few and far between. Uh, <laughs> and the ones that I, um, and it's just so great that you, your organization is all about like-minded professionals who are trying to do it do good for the right reason mm -hmm. and even still i would say uh that even like you said some of the professionals they do need to get educated because they be, may be well-meaning and, and yet they may end up being an accomplice to destruction well and, and the, a case in point is that a family law attorney didn't likely go to school to be an accountant or a financial advisor did not go to school to, uh, and to understand how to buy and sell real estate or how to approve a mortgage. That's not where they got their doctorate, right? They got their doctorate in law. And to expect them to absolutely understand everything without having the team of experts at their disposal that, can, they, that they can rely on and call upon and say, hey, I've got somebody and I want to help them be able to purchase property after the end of this. How do I need to write that settlement statement so that that can happen? That's the kind of cooperation and collaboration that we are, are inspiring these professionals to understand that they need. And you know, sometimes you don't know that you need glasses until somebody puts it in front of your eyes and you go, oh wait, there's all of this that I don't understand? And, um, and it, and if our, when our professionals, not if, but when they get it, they get it and they go, I've got a team. I've got pre-vetted, dedicated on the same page, you know, because like I said, this, in, this industry, um, can, can lead to some people that, that are not looking out for their client's best interest. And so we like to make sure that they vibe with our messaging, which is that this can be done better and it can be a le less devastating experience for families. Um, if they vibe with that messaging, then they're going to be a good fit for the NADP. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be attending in a couple of weeks to the yes, South are. Tampa meeting. So exciting. That's yes. the first time. First of all, we, we can actually see each other face to face. I'm excited about that. But Absolutely. I'm just more importantly, just excited to be actually connecting with these professionals um, and finding out where their heart is because I do, um, I, you know, it's important to, for us to all collaborate and share the information so and that um, children don't suffer and generations, we were talking about generations are impacted by this. You know, we've, we've, We've been talking about it, and I think for us as divorce professionals, um, and we've been working in this in this arena now. Um, it's this the this the divorce process. Not only just it it's not it doesn't operate in a vacuum. It impacts families holistically the whole family but it also impacts that family for generations and you know I know that you guys were talking about parent alienation and um, there's so many things that come along and come up with custody matters that people don't understand impacts a child's grades and when you impact a child's grades you impact a child's ability to get into the college of their choice to get to the career of their choice and to get to the earning potential that they have. So 
you know, we need to kind of take the blinders off when it, when we talk about, you know, the Smith family that's going through a divorce and understand that this not only impacts the Smith family, but it can impact the entire economy on a very big scale. And I think that that's where the lesson is for anybody that goes, well, that, you know, divorce and custody matters are that's their family. That's the Smith's problem. That's not, that's certainly not my problem. But when they can understand that, you know what, it kind of is your problem. We need to act as a village. We need to support families going through it and we have to support their children because these children are little tiny victims that never asked for any of this. And here we are as adults and those, that children's, you know, those children's futures rest in our hands. And whether we realize it or not, we are a part of a village that, that is to lift each other up and not watch somebody self-destruct. Uh, well, well said, Vicki. I think we have an obligation. I think you'd agree. As you said uh, so well, these, these children are victims. They didn't ask for this. Again, so we have an obligation, um, you know, to, to go out and do the right thing and not uh, follow those egoic traits and really look at uh, what the child needs and what's best for that child. Now, Danica, quickly, this reminds, this is a good piggyback too for people that didn't go, haven't, didn't see the show with Dr. Sally, um, who we had on a few weeks ago, who's been an administrator, a principal all the way from grade school to the collegiate level. Um, so this is a, this really is a good piggyback for that show too. When you want to, she talks from that perspective of an administrator. Um, so it speaks to all the points that you're talking about, Vicki. You hit the nail on the head on all of them um, because this is exactly what she speaks to. And you couldn't be more right. Off the air, we talked about every single thing in this world bleeds from uh, the uh, children and their lives and how they're impacted when they're growing. Uh, whether it's you look at the drug, we talked about the drug problem. You look at the, the divorce rate, how people handle just interpersonal relationships, uh, uh, professions, as you said, um, the ability to earn a living. Um, it's, it's, it encompasses every single part of it, and it all links together. Um, so, again, I applaud you, um, and, and I know that, again, the shows we've had on, too, uh, you're, you're speaking just to that, too, which is wonderful. It all connects. Thank you. And I, I really love the idea when, when we do our conference, you guys have really uh, hit, a, you know, a light bulb went off on my head. I, I think I want to go find a, a, a school administrator and have a school administrator speak to this very topic because, um, you know, to our professionals. So our, our conference for those that are on here that are not necessarily divorce professionals, but our conference is for the professionals so that the professionals can, you know, understand this process and, and, you know, learn about all of the other things that, that are impacted in that family's lives and, and understanding that school process and what happens to children, I think is really important for the, uh, the professionals to understand too. It's really huge because um, a lot of times, People, it, you know, we, we see it on social media, people villainizing a, a population of, of professionals and a population of parents and, and everything like, um, but a lot of it, like, I've always tried to bridge the gap. I've always tried to reach out to father's rights groups and stuff like that and say, hey, you know, this is not a gender conversation with parental alienation. This is this is really a behavior conversation. Um, and same thing with the professionals. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say, every lawyer is greedy. Every, every you know, yeah. mental health counselor, whatever, all of these people. Um, I get that people got the short end of the stick and they feel that way, but it doesn't mean that everybody is that way. And I, I got to believe, maybe it's me with my rose colored glasses, but I got to believe that if we, through conversations, we can begin to understand things from their perspective. You are so right. And the, the, the issue that I see um, from my 
perspective is not that people are doing and making bad decisions for their clients. I don't, there, there are so many professionals out there that want what we want, which is a great, you know, separation is, as it, it, not a, it's never going to be great, but it can be better. Right. And there are professionals that really, really, really care about their families and really don't want they don't want to take your kids' college money to get you through this divorce process. There are great, if you guys need recommendations, we've got amazing recommendations for you with amazing professionals that truly, truly care. The one thing that I will say about an NADP member and, and a part of our organization is that they know that they don't know everything and that they are willing to go out and step outside of their own lane. Remember, we talked about the lane that they did. A family law attorney that sits there and goes, you know what? I don't know the first thing about real estate in this market. I don't even know what your house is worth. Why don't we find out? Let me pick up the, the phone and we're going to figure this out together. I would much rather hear that than to say, yeah, I got it. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I, got, I can handle your real estate. I can handle your finances. I can handle all your mental health issues and uh, mortgage. You need to, to, to be, you, know, if you need a new mortgage. I got you covered. That's not realistic. And it's not this process. And so having a, uh, a family law attorney or mediator or a collaborative attorney that sits there and says, I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to get all the answers. Exactly. And it's not going to come from me. It's going to come you're, from experts in their industry. You're right on. You're right on. Because that's, again, someone who does that too, Vicki, and you, 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 that's a great point. Someone who does that and says, I don't know, but I'll find out they're confident. So that's the first thing you want to do because they have the confidence to say, I don't know. Now that sounds amazing, but a lot of people can't even do that. So when you have somebody that's humble and say, you know what? I don't know. I know this and this and this, but I don't know this, but we're going to find it out together. Now that's somebody you want to hang on to. That yes. speaks a lot than just that simple sentence. There's a lot yes, that goes into that. You know that. Perfect. I yeah. love it. Oh. Yeah. So tell us, tell us about your conference or before you do that, tell people, I, I'm just blown away. I went to your website and, uh, the chapters that are just all over the nation. It just like, this is so exciting. It's like I, I struck gold. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Well, we've got 40 right now, about 40. Um, with uh, our goal is to have another 40, probably by the end of 2020, um, and really doing some major growth and outreach because this is, you know, it is an idea whose time has come. And, um, you know, it's, it's an industry that works in stress with clients that are in stress, causes stress to the professionals that work with a post-traumatic stress and secondary stress. So um, at our conference this year, uh, we have brought uh, an amazing woman. Her name is Daniela Kaffer, and she is with UC Berkeley. And she is she actually has a lab called the Kaffer Lab out at UC Berkeley, and she studies rats and stress on their brains. She literally has a lab where she studies the impacts of stress on your body, the physiological changes that go on in your brain and in your body and, and the diseases and all of those things that, that um, come with it. But there's good stress and there's bad stress. And so we wanted to bring her in so that our professionals could really understand what is really physically happening in that moment with their clients that are under extreme stress. Because when you start to understand what's actually happening to their brain during this time, I think that you can become more empathetic and understanding because your clients aren't crazy. They're just on cortisol and stress hormones that make them say and do horrible things that they normally wouldn't do in another situation but they're under, their brains are under stress. And so we wanted to do that because we wanted our professionals to help their clients understand what they're going through and to help their, their clients manage their stress levels a little bit better. But we also wanted it because we know our, our members are experiencing stress as well. 
um, in this process. So we want to kind of do that double whammy so that you can do some self-reflection and some, some self-work about what this industry does to us too, right? Because it does impact us. It does make a difference. So Daniela is going to be there. We have Owen Fitzpatrick. He's an amazing, lovely Irishman. He's a psychologist. He's an international speaker. He's um, an award-winning author. And he's talking about the language of divorce and how to maintain um, rapport and um, actually get your clients so that they actually not only just hear it, but they actually listen to it and can take in the information and then go through that cortisol soaked brain and actually communicate with them in a way that will be effective so that they can make some good decisions. So those are two of our keynotes and we've got 35 others and we're hoping that we're going to have a, a big old panel on parent alienation while we're there too, so that our professionals can learn about all of this. And now I'm going to call, I've got to call a, a high school administrator when I got to get that on there. Cause I think that that is, an amazing eye-opening topic. Well, Vicki, wow. I think I think you're amazing, and I think it's again. I thought of Einstein, right? The definition of insanity: repeating the same behavior and thinking anything is going to change, right? right. So, what I hear about, I, I believe it's Daniela. You said who'll be coming? That's so important to look at the effects of stress and how that affects you physically. And I think, as you spoke about um, self-reflecting, I think the one thing that you can control, ladies and gentlemen, there is you. As much as we try and control everything else but ourselves. When you yes. learn yourself and you go inward, and that doesn't mean to, to re-traumatize yourself, but really to go back to unburden and learn. And I think it's so important when you can do that, because that's where you can control, educate yourself, empower yourself. And again, going outside that box and saying, okay, what's the root of this? Because we talked about all these little fires you can put out and do all these things. But until you get to the root of what the actual issue is and what stems from it and it stems from, that's when you actually can get somewhere. Uh, again, the other thing, there were so many things you said in there, Vicki, too, that, that Danica and I have talked about before we knew you, the sort of directions and mindset that we had. So again, this is so LOA beautiful, Danica. Law of Attraction beautiful, having, having uh, somebody as incredible as Vicki on. Thank you, Vicki, for taking Amazing. Time. So I hear holistic approach. I hear holistic, uh, nurturing, um, therapy. Collab collaboration. Mm -hmm. Collaboration. Education education is really critical and um and being able to you know our tagline is because it takes a village because it takes a village nobody can do this i mean they can try and i guess if there's not a lot of assets or children you know you can diy it that is a possibility and there's no there's no doubt but it really does and it takes a team and a team approach. And so that's what we want to encourage and, um, and create that as a, just a, a part of the culture in divorcing families, that there is access. If, if you don't need the team, the team members, that's okay. But you have a professional with somebody that they can pick up the phone and say, how do I get through this? What's, what's the answer here? How does this need to be worded? Give me some advice. And so that's, and, and, and just that little bit can make a difference in families' lives. Awesome. Amazing. So your, um, your conference is in Las Vegas in May. What days? The 14th through the 16th. It is at the, uh, Las Vegas' brand new, uh, the latest remodeled uh, $600 million renovation at the Park MGM Hotel. It used to be the Monte Carlo. If you guys remember the Monte Carlo, if you've ever been on the strip, it's going to be there. And um, Lady Gaga is going to be there. So I'm super excited about that. I'm a music file. So I was really excited about that. And, um, and the, 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 those three days are going to be filled with professionals really honing their craft, their own craft, their own lane, but they're also going to be learning how to, how to, bring those other drivers into their lane so that they can help their clients go through it. And uh, so there's a lot of learning, a lot of connections and networking and creating those teams going on. 
and um, and then we help with some marketing and branding for those families for those those people in this industry that really do a good job we if, if we feel that if they vibe with our messaging and that this can be done in a kinder and gentler way we want those people's businesses to grow so we work with them with some some experts in helping them grow their business i love it i love it and we've got to wrap the show it's oh. all you guys were awesome wow i'm just like i just see nothing but amazing momentum in 2020 such good things good things for our audience um good things for families um it's all about healing and um and it takes a village to make this possible before before we go and i let danica end it too i want to thank you uh, Vicki for coming on it was it was enlightening and empowering and I know we're gonna have you on again Ladies What's and gentlemen out there. Thank thank you so much to everybody and to Vicki and we're gonna let her go out too and, and say a few things in the words of Gandhi folks Never let anyone walk through your mind with their dirty feet. Okay, so stay empowered. Keep loving. Thank you Vicki and Danica. Thank you Bye uh, everybody. See you next week on Custody Matters Live <laughs>